Good morning again. Time for another Daily Word Bomb. Um, I'm talking more about faith, and uh, I talked about how faith is the seed of substance uh, that causes us to believe in our heart, and how faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So we want to get the Word of God in us. We want to listen to teachings. We want to read the Word. We want that to become a part of us. And then next, I want to talk about, uh, so we each have a level of faith. When we put our trust in Jesus Christ, uh, we a measure of faith is given to us. But So I want to just kind of put that out there. But then um, faith comes by hearing, but it goes by speaking. And so uh, I want to think about that idea. Romans 10, 8 through 10 says, But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that if you confess, and the Greek word for confess is to speak the same as, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So faith comes by hearing, goes by speaking. And so... um, I want to encourage you to speak the word of God out, to, to say things that agree with the word of God. Be more, um, more aware of the way that you talk because your words actually do carry power. And uh, of course, it can, everything can be brought to an extreme. But I want to encourage you that it is, it's biblical that your words carry power. The word, the word says life and death are in the power of the tongue. And so... Um, be aware of what you're speaking, what you're agreeing with when you speak. Are you agreeing with God's plan over your life? Like, oh, that's just, man, our family just doesn't do this. Or, man, I've never just, I can never do this. I can never do that. I, even if God's calling you, you're convinced you can't do this because of whatever the situation. I want to encourage you uh, to beware of your words and, and, and confess the word of God. Confess agreement with God's word. That doesn't mean... That doesn't mean you always have to be quoting scriptures, which quoting scripture is a good thing. Reading the word out loud is a good thing. Speaking into the air because it's like we're sprinkling that seed of substance into the air. But speak the word of God out. Uh, and it's not only and it not only benefits others, it benefits you when you speak the word of God out. And so it helps to have that cyclical motion of faith. And so I want to encourage you to speak the word out. So faith comes by hearing. It goes by speaking in agreement with the word of God. Speak it over your life. Share the gospel with other people. Just tell people Jesus loves them, that um, he, he cares for them. Uh, tell them that if they receive Jesus into their life, if they put faith in the saving uh, sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and believe that he rose again, they will be saved if they'll receive that message and uh, confess it with their mouth. Their sins will be forgiven. They'll be cleansed. That's that's a message that everybody needs to hear. Some people will reject it. Some people will act like it's silly. Some people will act like they already know it. But let that word still get out there and agree with God's word. Faith comes by hearing, goes by speaking, and then God, and faith works through love. At the, at the, the core of it all, uh, we need love to be our motivating factor uh, and uh, of even in engaging with Christ and engaging with others. Love is the glue. It's like, it's like the, it's like the um, road that faith works in. And, and so like we, as we love God, there's this roadway between us and God and faith can occur as we get in his word. Uh, we love God and faith occurs and it all stirs up. And then when we love others and, and our faith is, is pointed towards others, we're speaking God's word out, we're serving others in faith. There's a roadway for God's blessing to be made known. We become uh, a manifestation of God's love as we share it with other people. And by faith, uh, we, we impact the world around us in a positive way because we're sharing uh, faith, the word of God, and love with other people. And this is how we're going we're gonna to impact this world. Uh, and this is how they will know that we are Christians, Jesus said. He didn't say they'll know you're Christians by the cross on your building, by... by uh, being able to, you know, memorize and recite. None of those things are bad or wrong, but he said they'll know you are Christians by your love. So let's go out, be people of faith and people of love this week. God, I pray that you would fill us afresh with your spirit, that we would um, be filled with faith, filled with love, and that you would use us mightily, that we would uh, be instruments of your love and glory this week. In Jesus' name, amen.